I've done the kids' talk in a way that's most appropriate to me. I can't do puppets, I can't sing, I'm hopeless at rhymes, but I can do PowerPoints. So we're going to work through a PowerPoint because there's a really important question that I want to ask. And uh, gentlemen up the back, you're going to work with me. Here's the question, it's on the first slide. If we've got to get a leader, what should we look for? You know, when we look around the world, boys and girls, when we look around the world, we've got leaders all over the place. You might have heard mum and dad talking in positive, maybe negative ways about prime ministers or premiers. You've got a school captain. You're playing a cricket team and you've got a captain and you might play a nipple team and you've got a captain. They're your leaders. They lead you. There are leaders in the church as well when God's mob are together. And what should we look for when we need a leader? So I thought I'll go back through my photo album from the last few years just to see if there are some pictures there about the kind of things we might look for in a leader. Do we need a leader? Next slide. Do we need a leader who's got courage and muscles? No. Yeah, thank you, Memphis. No. Do we need a leader? Next slide. Who has got cunning and daring? No. Do we need a leader, next slide, who's got a lot of cash to bail us out? No. Do we need a leader, next slide, who is clever? Well, next slide, if we're looking for a leader, what should we look for? Should we look for someone who has courage, someone who has cunning, someone who has cash, or someone who is clever? Well, let me tell you that we started a letter last week. Remember Ben chatting with Rocket? We started a letter last week that talks to us about this. There was a bloke called Paul. He wrote to a mate called Titus and he left him in a town called Crete. And kids, if you've got your kid sheets there, you'll find a map there and you'll be able to find Crete on the map and circle it. It's somewhere near Miletus, which we heard about earlier. But he left him there with a job to do. And he told him about the job. Next slide. He told him about the job. Let me read to you from the book of Titus, chapter 1, verses 5 to 6. The reason I left you in Crete was to set right what was left undone. And as I direct you to appoint elders in every town. Elders is leaders, someone who is blameless. If you go to the next slide, you'll see that we're not looking for someone who's got courage. We're not looking for someone who's got cunning. We're not looking for someone who's got cash. We're not even looking for someone who's clever. We're looking for someone who's got character, who's blameless. Now, blameless is a big word. There's a lot of syllables in blameless. So I wanted to narrow it down. Someone who is blameless is, is someone who knows Jesus and shows Jesus. Someone who knows Jesus and shows Jesus. That's the leader we're looking for in God's people. Now, let me tell you, that's a big job, isn't it? And so I want to pray for those kind of leaders to be provided. And when they are, we need to pray for them, don't we? Because to know Jesus and to show Jesus is a tough job. So how about we pray about that? before we look at what that means in the book of Titus. Let's pray together. Dear God, thank you that you give us leaders and then you tell us what they're meant to be like. Thank you that you show us that they are to have character, to be blameless, to know your son Jesus and to show your son Jesus. Father, please give us those leaders and please help them to do their job and to know Jesus and to show Jesus. Amen.